Hello, Clay here. I only took about nine months to release a new version. <laughs> uh, I released uh, SoundShift version 5.2, what, two days ago now. Um, the only real change is the code for the reaction-based RPM beeps has been torn out and I started fresh with it because the old method had this annoying learning phase at the start of every driving session that nobody, including me, wanted to deal with. It got on my nerves like you would not believe. Uh, at the time, it was the only way I knew how to do it. But after some thought and way more time coding than I thought it would take, uh, I finally got a different method in here. Um, the learning phase, like I say, is gone now. When you start a new session, the only thing that will be unusual is for the first time in each gear, the beep will be really early. Um, all you have to do is get in and drive, but uh, you need to be paying attention for when those beeps come and reacting to them with a shift. And after the first instance of a beep for each gear, um, the system will have that one piece of data to start from and all the other beeps will actually be very close to what you have set for each of these target RPMs. I'll do a quick run here through each gear to show you how those beeps are really early. Then I'll slow back down to first gear and do it again and then you'll see how the beeps are actually more sane and will reflect uh, what's shown here in your target RPMs. So, as you can see now, those uh, delta for each R or uh, for, for each gear are uh, now shown here, and uh, obviously those beeps were really early. Some of the ship flights weren't even coming on for some of them, but that's okay. So we'll go back down to first gear here, and now the beeps that I get will be such that my shifts actually take place really really close to what these are already even just after one one little learning piece for each gear there So, it keeps track of the last 25 shifts in each gear to get a really good average, and it will use the average of those deltas to give you a beep early enough to account for how quickly the car is accelerating in each gear. So, the first gear here is set for 7600, and this is set that... Uh, or not set, this saw uh, an average reaction time of um, that accounts for 398 RPM. So the beep will actually take place at uh, 7202 RPM and then my reaction time will take so long that uh, the car will actually reach 7600 by the time the ship completes. And that's the same for all these gears. And um, I'm actually pretty impressed with how well this worked. The thing I'm not impressed with was how long it took me to finish it. Man, it was a pain in the butt. Anyways, that's done. Um, since I have to kind of change resolutions here to show you what I want to change with this optimal calculator, um, I'll stop this video here and I'll make a second one for that. And if I see you there, I'll see you there.
Have a good one.